Isang panalo na lang at magsasaya na ang mga tiga-barangay. Pinalo ng Gin Kings ang San Miguel Beermen sa Game 5 ng PBA Commissioner's Cup Finals 87-83. to Ginamit ng Hinebra ang 9-0 run sa dulo ng laban para makuha ang 3-2 lead sa Best of 7 Series. Ang dating NCAA MVP na si Scotty Thompson ang nanguna sa Hinebra with 20 points and 11 rebounds. May chance ang Hinebra na iuwi ang tropeo sa Miyerkules sa Game 6 ng series. Sinimula na ng members ng Philippine Men's Basketball Team ang paghahanda nila para sa nalalapit na Asian Games. Dahil kasi sa pabago-bagong isip ng Philippine basketball officials, meron na lang silang ilang araw bago sumabak sa Asia. Narito ang report ni Anjo Bagawisa. Dahil sa rambol ng Gilas Pilipinas at Australia sa FIBA World Cup Qualifiers, inatras ng Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas o SBP ang pagsali sa Asian Games sa Indonesia sa August 18. Pero kahapon, tuloy na ang laban ng kupunan. We realized that there was a strong clamor from our basketball fans. And since we are the house of basketball, we need to really take a look at it and and understand what that clamor and where that was coming from. E galing pala yan sa puso ng ating mga basketball fans. Kasama sa maglalaro ang mga taga Rain or Shine na sina Maverick Ahanmisi, Chris Chu, Gabe Norwood, James Yap, Bo Belga at Raymond Almazan. Pasok din sina Christian Stand Hardinger, Paul Lee, Poy Eram, Don Foliano, Asi Taulava, Stanley Pringle, pati na ang mga player ng UP Fighting Maroons na sina Kobe Paras at Richie Rivero. Sina Coach Yeng Giao ng NLEX at Coach Kaloy Garcia ang hahawak sa team. Sabi ni Coach Yeng, puhunan para sa kinabukasan ng basketball sa bansa ang pagsali kina Paras at Rivero. Although of course, they still have to show that uh, they are deserving to be in the top 12. No? Kasi 12 lang talaga mada, madadala natin sa Jakarta, Indonesia. Ikinatuwa ito ng mga player. Susubukan ng gilas na higitan ang resulta ng Asian Games noong 2014 kung saan pampito lang ang Pilipinas. Sabi ni Coach Yeng, sapat na ang magandang performance para makabawi sa nasirang imahe ng Pilipinas dahil sa basket brawl. Anjo Bagawisan, ABS-CBN News. At para talakay ng PBA Commissioner's Cup Finals at ang tsansa ng Philippine Men's Basketball Team na may uwi ang gold sa Asian Games kasama natin ngayon, si Coach Ronnie Magsano. Coach Ronnie, good evening to you and welcome back to the score. Thank you, Ton. Coach, simula na natin sa surprising news na natanggap natin. Surprising and welcome development, of course. Para sa lahat ng mga basketball fans, we are back at it. We will be participating in the Asian Games. Are you surprised? I mean... It was announced na hindi na tayo magpapadala ng kuponan, but there was still hope dahil ang deadline is August 9, and now it is official, we will be participating. Surprised, uh, a little bit, pero pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Dahil uh, as a former national player, and as a fan of the game, gusto ko talaga makita yung top players ng ating bansa to represent the country. And this is just a, a competition that happens every four years. Mm -hmm. At uh, dito lumabas din yung, yung, yung clamor ng mga kapamilya natin, mga kababayan natin na sometimes it's, it's, it's not just winning the gold but competing dahil uh, tayo ang magiging host sa 2023 sa World Cup. So kailangan tuloy-tuloy yung programa, programa. So I'm sure na-realize ng uh, ating mga basketball leaders kung ano ang magiging mas positibong resulta uh, once we decide to join the competition. At uh, kumbaga all's well that ends well. Coach, nung unang inanunsyo na hindi na magpapadala ng kuponan, sumabog yung social media. A lot of fans were angry, disappointed, all of emotion, all kinds of emotions, Coach. How big of a deal and how big was the effect nitong social media, reactions ng mga fans, sa mga leaders natin in sports to decide that let's bring a team? I think it's clear as day. Pinaliwanag naman ng uh, PBA pinaliwanag ng uh, SBP at ng POC kung saan sila nakatayo. At eventually, um, narinig nila ang uh, hinaing, narinig nila yung uh, hiling ng ating mga kababayan na yun nga, kinakailangan sumali, kinakailangan tayo magpadala ng isang team to represent a flag and country. 
At uh, siguro yun ang pinaka naging turnaround. Maliwanag naman ipina, uh, inihayag ng mga nasa press conference kahapon, kagabi, kung ano yung nangyari, tapos na yung nangyari, ito ang desisyon, may sapat pang panahon. At uh, ubuti na lang, nandiyan din si Coach Yengyao para hmm. kumbaga, isulong yung ating pagkampanya. Dahil hindi madali, ah, less than two weeks. Yes. And in a few days, it'll be flying off to uh, Indonesia. But sabi nga niya, eh, uh, isa lang may papangako niya, lalaban sila hanggang dulo. At mabuti na lang na karamihan sa mga players na kasama sa kumpulan Yan. ay familiar na with yes. head coach Yeng Giao. Uh-huh. But what can you say, Coach Ronnie, about the other additions? Mm-hmm. The Christian Stan Hardingers, Richie Rivero, Kobe Paras, Coach Yeng said they have to earn their spot. Right. What can you say about the players na sumama sa kumpulan with the Rain or Shine Corps? Tandaan natin na bago uh, ma-anunsyo na hindi matutuloy, There was already about a few days that si Coach Yang binigyan na ng task to bring the team to Indonesia. Mm-hmm. So meron na siyang meron na siyang mga players supposedly from Rain or Shine, but they also had a wish list. Mm-hmm. Meaning meron na siyang paghimay, pagsusuri kung sino yung mga gusto niyang makasama. I think top of mind for him is yung familiarity ng mga players with the system. So yun ang tingin kong inuna niya dahil mm-hmm. wala nang oras eh. So pito na dating naglaro sa kanya. Iba tumo pa dyan si Asi na manlalaro niya hanggang ngayon. Mm. At si Don Trolliano na inabot niya kung hindi ako nagkakamali sa Reno. Siya. So, siyam na yon mm. Meaning lima na lamang yung hindi kabilang. Uh, napakalaking uh, shot in the arm ni, ni si Stan Hardinger dahil hindi lang sa matangkad. Mm. Talagang he wants to play for yeah. plug-in country. Mm-hmm. At napatunayan ko na yan bilang kasama niya dun sa kakakalipas lang na World Cup ng 3x3. Si Stanley Pringle, yun din ang lagi niyang sinasabi. Mm. Nung magkakasama kami, sabi niya, sana magkaroon ako ng pagkakataon to play sa 5 on 5 Yung talagang actual na competition ng yeah. basketball dahil hindi pa yan nagagawa. Eh. Mm. So, I believe this is also a dream come true para sa kanya. Yeah. And then you have Paul Lee, who has played the hero soul for the national team a few mm. years back. Yeah. And is back uh, once again uh, to the international colors. Mm. And then you have the two youngsters. Mm-hmm. At maliwanag yung uh, inihayag ni Coach Yang Giao na these two are going to be a part of the future. They're part of the national pool. And uh, if they prove that they can, uh, they're up to the task, who knows, they might make it to the final 12. And it's nice that you mentioned Stanley Pringle because uh, Chris Newsom actually is also expressing his desire right. to be able to represent right. the Philippines. Do you think itong inclusion ni Stanley Pringle will open the doors for The likes of Chris Nusa. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Dahil, alam mo yung uh, pagdadala ng pagiging isang national player, hindi lahat nabibigyan ng ganyang magkakataon. Uh, it may sound like a cliche that it is a privilege, but it really is. Mm-hmm. And um, remember that your peak years in the pro league, yun din yung pagkakataon mo na ginto na mapabilang sa national team. Mm-hmm. When you grow older mm-hmm. and you haven't been a part of the national team, it's going to be harder for you to make it eventually. Mm-hmm. Whereas, kung kabilang ka na dati, tapos mm. hindi ka naging kabilang, mm. mapapansin at maalala na ito pwede dahil nakapaglaro na. And who knows, uh, with what Chris Nusa has been showing in the pro league, probably he is just a step away from also being considered eventually for the national pool. Well, Coach Ronnie, all of us are just excited. Of course. Na Looking kabilang forward. ulit tayo. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to participating in the Asian Games. Pero... We are in the thick of things pagdating sa PBA Finals. Lamang na nga ang Hinebra, three games uh-huh. to two. Coach Ronnie, para sa'yo, what was the turning point in game number five? And for the first time, hindi na tambakan <laughs> yung laro sa finals. Ito na yung hiling ng ating mga kapamilya na dogfight. Yes. Na classic nail-biter mula sa umpisa hanggang dulo. So umpisa lumamang Hinebra ng Malaki, humabulang San Miguel. Lumamang San Miguel ng Malaki, humabulang Hinebra. Middle quarters we were tied at 40 all, 66 all. The turning point, I think, and I believe was the last three minutes and 16, wherein lamang pa ang San Miguel, yeah. timeout si coach team, nandun na sa loob sila LA, sila Slaughter, sila Scotty, Binalek, pagkatapos may pahinga kasama si Jody Bas. I think the turning point of the game was before the 3 minute and 16 mark. Mm-hmm. Uh, going back to the time when coach team con decided to rest Devon, Scotty, and LA at the same time, I think that was the key move by coach mm-hmm. team to gamble, take the highest risk, and hope that Jaffa Tagilar Jeff Chan mm-hmm. will be able to hold forth in nagawa nila. Mm-hmm. So, maski lang mga San Miguel, up to the 3 minute and 16 mark, ang feeling ko tumirik sila sa dulo at mm-hmm. meron pang 
sapat na lakas sila mm-hmm. Scotty, sila mm-hmm. LA, sila Devans. Mm-hmm. Ang gandula dan itong tatlong players na to, mm-hmm. kasama si Brown at Slaughter, sila yung nagpas, nagpakita ng napakahirap na comeback na ginawa nila. Yeah. At magagawa mo lamang yan mm-hmm. pag meron ka pang lakas. Mm-hmm. Whereas for San Miguel, kung titignan mo, they used seven players. I believe they utilized eight players. Pero si Stan Harding at Arvin Santos, who averaged about 20 to 30 minutes in the first four games, only played, I believe, 14 and 17 minutes mm-hmm. respectively. Mm-hmm. So talagang sobrang heavy minutes sila, mm-hmm. sila Chris Ross. Mm-hmm. Si Alex also lost some of his minutes because mm-hmm. of uh, the assignment of Ross on Brownlee. So mm-hmm. I'm sure makikita yan ni Coach Leo na Didiin eh. Didiin ka talaga dahil ito yung pivotal game eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi one win away ka na lang from, mm-hmm. from the championship. Pero pag naisip mo minsan, dapat nga naipahinga ko, dapat nga nabigyan ko mas isang minuto, dalawang yeah. minuto. Makikita nila yan for sure dahil nakakatakot din gumambol eh. Minsan mm-hmm. pag nilabas mo, gaganon eh. Mm-hmm. But if you trust your players and uh, they also show trust in you by performing well, minsan kumakagat yung decision mo. And that is exactly what worked, what worked for Ginevra. Aside from their defensive tenacity mm-hmm. and their discipline and execution and their composure, of course, pagdating dun sa huling uh, aspeto ng laro. While we're all happy na naging dikit na yung bakbakan sa finals, hindi natin maiwasan because we are a basketball crazy nation, yung controversies. Right. And Ronaldo Balkman posted... <laughs> on Twitter, a photo of um, a controversial moment in game number five kung saan nakaapak si Scotty Thompson right. sa baseline habang nakikipag-agawa ng bola yes. with Arwin Santos. Yes. What is your comment on this reaction by Bachman? Unang-una, bago pa mangyari yun, I thought that um, San Miguel laps into that little mistake of uh, complaining too much. And I, I believe that uh, during the time that it happened, yung hawak ni Scotty, inaagawan niya kay, kay uh, Arwin yung Arwin. bola. Pinaliwanag ni Commissioner Willie Marshall na natakpan yung game official sa ilalim dun sa action na yon. Mm-hmm. Remember that that play is not reviewable. Mm-hmm. ba diba? So, eventually kung ano yung nakita, yun yung itinawag. Mm-hmm. Tayo, nakita natin sa replay. Doon ko nakita sa replay, mm-hmm. oo nga. Mm-hmm. Stepping si Scotty. Pero, at that very moment, ang nakita ay yung tapo ni Arwin. Yung mm-hmm. save niya. Hindi mm-hmm. nakita yung inaagaw ni Scotty na nakatapok siya sa linya. Mm-hmm. Missed calls, pa- probably, para sa mga coaches, are equivalent to turnovers ng players. Mm-hmm. Uh, game officials make mistakes, they miss calls. But I believe your reaction yeah. and uh, the play that follows, sometimes is more important than what transpired. Mm-hmm. After that, meron silang isang timeout, hindi na sumali si Bachman dun sa timeout. Mm-hmm. Nasayang yun. Mm-hmm. Dahil lamang man ng isa yung Hinebra, pwede pa silang nakascore in the next play mm-hmm. kung sakaling nakontrol sana nila ng bahagya yung pasensya nila. Ngayon, Coach, yung ibang mga fans, hindi rin makontrol yung karilang pasensya <laughs> sa social media at nagsasabing scripted daw ang PBA Finals. Ano naman ang reaction mo sa mga komentong katulad nun? Nabasa ko rin yung uh, panayam with Commissioner Willie Marshall. Maliwanag naman yung mga puntos niya ron, yung, yung kanyang uh, kwento. Basa sa napapanood niya, ako naman, I've watched the last five games as a fan and as a coach. Wala akong nararamdaman ganun. If there's something unusual that I've seen, ngayon lang ako nakita ng finals sa talagang nagkakaiwanan. Pero kung susuriin mo naman, may dahilan. And I think that gives credit to the coaches in, in their... Uh, significant adjustments to outsmart each other and establish a tremendous advantage. Yun nakikita ko eh. Hindi naman, except perhaps for that 17-0 run doon sa game 4. Ano naman eh, ganun? Lalong-lalo na yung uh, first two games. If you take a look at the final score, that is not entirely the game story. Uh, so many plays transpired bago umabot sa ganung kalaking uh, lamang. Mm-hmm. At even dun sa game 4, nakikita ko yung habol ni Arwin, ni Stan Hardinger, mm-hmm. kung paano nila kinakayod. Kaya lang, ano man yung pilit mong ibalik, pag naunahan ka, at ang ganda rin ang laro ng Hinebra, they've limited the uh, San Miguel to only under 40% shooting clip in the last two games. They have disallowed Lassiter to score, uh, shut down Alex Cabagnot, and uh, kumbaga, eh, napagod din sila si, si Bachman, pagtas mm-hmm. kayo rin yung mm-hmm. first three quarters. So, uh, you have to take a look at the technical side of things and not just the final out, the final outcome. Dahil para sa amin, pag pinapanood namin, nag-aaral din kami eh. Mm-hmm. Tinitignan namin kung bakit elite yung mga coaches, bakit sila laging nananalo, mm-hmm. bakit ang hirap nilang talunin. So para sa amin, 
as students of the game, that is not the way we see things. Coach, lastly, meron ka bang prediction? Is this series over in six or will we see a game seven? Ang paniniwala ko, San Miguel could have won game five. Mm. They were up by five, three minutes and 16. Mm. And then the turnaround. Maagang nakashoot si Joe Devans. Sablay yung tatlong three-point shots nila. But the biggest uh, mistake that happened to San Miguel, if you call that mistake, was in the last 56 seconds, nagmintis ng dalawa si June Marfajardo. It was a game that they should have won. It was a game that they could have won. Mm. So if we are to say that Hinebra has this title in the bag, I think that is not uh, doing justice to what San Miguel has been able to do as well. Mm. Ngayon, na dalawang sunod sila, mm. kasi din dalawang sunod nila eh. Mm. They have to show championship character, they have to show uh, big fighting hearts. Perhaps this is the only time I've seen them behind uh, since the 0 and 3 deficit to Alaska that they overcame mm. yes. uh, many years ago. Mm. They have to relive that uh, experience, but uh, it has to take a collective effort. Mahirap. Mahirap, hindi magiging madali, but I believe that they still can get it done to try and equalize the series. Tapos na, I don't think so. But it's going to take a lot of hard work, especially a very good team, against a very good team, which is the Hinebra, Parangay Hinebra. Coach Ronnie, as always, great analysis at maraming salamat sa oras dito sa The Score. Salamat din, Tuan. Hey everybody, this is Anton Rojas. Subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports and Action YouTube channel by simply clicking on the bell button for more updates.